important for me to say because I'm not in the hot seat. They're in the hot seat, right? Uh, but relax. We're trying to have a conversation. We're getting to know each other. A first meeting is a first meeting. Uh, for us, at least, because we have such a concentrated portfolio, we, we have multiple meetings. We write large checks. So we're typically the lead investor at the earliest stage, and we're comfortable being in either that one or two position on the cap table. Um, we want to get to know the founder in depth because of how concentrated we are. In other situations, some investors are making a decision after just one meeting. So it's important as you prep for the pitch to know what your audience is and kind of how their process is. And if they don't know, just ask them real time in the beginning of the meeting. So you're like, okay, do I need to close them in one meeting or is this a meeting to get the next meeting? Mm -hmm. And for us at Beat Partners, the first meeting is to get the next meeting uh, more than anything else. So uh, yeah, you know, uh, put your best foot forward and and um, and you know, don't let up. Like, what I mean is, you know, you, it's game time, right? This is this is you've been practicing, you've been preparing, you've been getting ready on the off season to use sports analogy, right? This is game time in the in the room when you're having a conversation with somebody, and so put your best foot forward. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes we see folks that are a little bit too casual. Right? And you're like, well, are they serious about their business? Or they're really, really intense. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> is this somebody I can partner with for a decade? Because it's going to be a decade. Um, so there's a balance to that. But uh, it's game time. So yeah. I think, you know, this business, as and, and like all businesses, are the business is all about relationships and building a bond. Right? So to the extent that you have that, you can bring that EQ into the into the mix so that you can actually build a bond where where at the end of that meeting people are left liking you and trusting you um i think if those things are achieved that is a win that is a real big win for founders um i have seen some founders who um have a hard time making eye contact persons and we funded a few few founders that are like that they're incredibly amazing people but for some reason that's just not their not their, you know, stylistically, it's not how they how they do things. And I've found that that continues to be a problem for them in subsequent rounds as well, because it's, you know, there's 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 a harder time to build that bond. So I I I, I you know I encourage I encourage founders to um, first of all I, I like to put them at ease, um, you know, as a, as an investor because I want to try to really get to the bottom of who they are as human beings and individuals. Once I have that, then we can get into more substantive conversations about the business. Um, so I think it's a combination of bringing that warmth, bringing a sense of humor, um, and bringing sophisticated knowledge about that business building exercise. I think if you can bring all of that together into that mix, um, your chances of raising the round go up dramatically. 